Well, thanks guys for watching this video. Please subscribe if you haven't already and be sure to click the bell so you'll get notifications for the follow-up videos and uh, give me a like and share with a friend. Thank you so much. Let's get started. Hey guys, uh, I told y'all the last time that we were going to build a UFO, a flying saucer out of glass, and we're going to do that, but something just popped up. I uh, met a guy who works for a bottle manufacturing company, and I got so excited about uh, some of the ideas for awards and trophies and things we might do for him that I have. Uh, I went to a friendly restaurant who... I won't name the restaurant, but uh, who gave me their evening's stash of bottles, wine bottles, beer bottles, things like that, that uh, they had uh, emptied that night. And so I brought them home. Oh, let me show you. Let me show you. So here we go. Here are the bottles. Now, I have just started cleaning the labels off. So we got all the labels off. And, but I'm still working on the, the last of those. And what I've got here is a, a little trough that is full of acetone. And so that dissolves the glue a little bit. At least it uh, helps the label to come loose. And then I can scrub off the glue with the steel wool and the acetone. So I'm going to put that back over here. So here we've got a pair of wine bottles. I have plans for them. Uh, this award's going to have two bottles in it. Same with this. These two bottles are going to go together. And these two bottles are going to go together. So anyway, and then I've got a, a strategy for these beer bottles that uh, we're going to do. So anyway, uh, I'm going to finish cleaning and uh, then we can get started on making some designs. Hey guys, well, this is a heck of a way to uh, start the day, but uh, it got cold last night, near freezing, and so uh, I've got to go get some firewood so I can heat the shop up, for crying out loud. So anyway, let's get started. Okay, now we've got to... Just grab as much of this stuff as will fit on the cart. Let's see here. Let's, uh, I'm getting low. The next half decent warm day we have, I have got to cut some more firewood. be a blaze and it will sure make a difference in this cold shop all right well uh, I have several plans to, to create several award uh, prototypes for uh, this bottle manufacturer and so I've got these bottles cleaned up got the labels off the glue off and basically what we're gonna do is we're gonna grind parts of the bottles so that they can be attached to each other now, like this one right here, we're going to, like, do something like that so that it's sort of stair-stepped. And uh, then that'll mount to a base. So I've got to grind flat areas here and here so I can join that together. These two, we're going to, like, merge. Just like, and then they'll be stuck together, but, like, merged into each other. And then we'll grind that so it leans back. And uh, then that would go on its base. Uh, we'll do one bottle all by itself just uh, to create an effect. Now this one here, I'm going to try to grind these, grind a flat so that they will go together like this and be permanently fixed. But that's a trick. I'm not sure how that's going to work out. So we're going to go for that and see what happens. Now all these little guys right here, these are uh, going to go on a, uh, a circular base and the idea is is that the bottle will start to emerge coming up through the base so each one will be taller until finally there's you know a whole bottle sitting up here kind of flare them out a little bit and then uh, it'll go on a base and then one complete bottle will sit on a pedestal in the center of the circle we created so anyway that's the the, the rough plan and and we're going to start grinding and see um, 
which one of these actually works the way I think that it will. So, let's get started. Okay, here we go. Let's turn the machine on. <clears throat> turn the water on. We've got to grind a, a long flat strip along here on two bottles. So let's just get up to speed. Getting pretty close to what I'm looking for. Okay, that's enough for that one. That didn't take too long. Now we're doing number two. To go to a smoother wheel or disc. Oop, finally broke that. Alrighty. I guess we can leave this running. Okay. actually be a little tricky when you're grinding something that's round the wheel can catch it and cause it to turn in your hand and then you're grinding where you don't want to grind you're misshaping your work so it requires a lot of practice to sort of learn how to compensate for these tugs got this jigged up so that we're going to put a flat bottom on there. This is flat in the sense that it rests flat, but it's not flat so that I can join it to a glass base. So we're going to just, this has already been set for 90 degrees. So we come down here and start grinding. Got it on a very smooth wheel, so it's going to be slow, slow grinding. Won't take all that long, but slower than I'd like. And that is enough. 
stuff. Okay. Okay, we're going to turn this polishing wheel on and we're going to uh, polish these little strips that we ground. But first I got to get the wheel a little wet. There we go. When it starts slinging water, it's wet enough. Now, I don't know if the camera is going to let you see this or not. Probably not. I guess I'll be lucky if I can see it. Polishing this strip. See if it's working pretty quick there. You might kind of make out uh, an area, but no, no. Hard to see, slow and tedious. That's what polishing is. So you really better love what you're doing if you're gonna mess with this. You know, it's like a lot of woodworking projects. Guys say they hate the sanding more than anything else. Well, in glass, it's the polishing. That's where you find out if you did good leading up to polish or if you have to go back to a rougher wheel and, and uh, do it again. And it's also, not always, but usually the slowest stage in your grinding and polishing. So, you got to love what you're doing enough to put up with that. Okay, we're fixing to glue these guys together. Let's see here. Got a little glass cleaner there. Wipe that off. Wipe that off. Just make sure we're clean. Get ourselves more or less turned the right way. Now I'm going to have to get down on my knees to, let me make a mark here. I don't want to glue past that mark, so make a mark to that effect. Now. Okay, now at the last second I'm going to turn that and the glue will start to run, but uh, okay, we're facing that way, we're facing this way, yes. Okay, get slid up into position. Uh, I can't really tell exactly how it's matching up. I'm doing this by feel. But that feels pretty good. Okay. We'll let that run for a few minutes. Then we'll see how we did. Okay, now we're fixing to glue these two bottles we just glued together. Put it in the light there. We're fixing to glue them to the base. So I've got a piece of vinyl here and I've cut out sort of the general placement where the bottles go so I have some kind of reference as I am uh, gluing these together. So now we're just going to run a bead. 
it. So I should open it. I'm going to run a bead all the way around. Stuck, so we'll just let it cure up there. Don't want to move it too much. Here we go. Well, this gives you some idea of the structure. And uh, if we were doing an actual award on this, we could carve our information. We would probably pick one side as being the front, and in my case. I prefer the mounted bottle on the left so we could do the company name and uh, uh, the, the logo for the vineyard or whatever. We could do information on the base here. Uh, and what we're going to do is we're going to actually paint the bottom of this base. And uh, at that point it will finish it out. Now it will look unfinished with no text on it. But uh, these uh, concepts are to try to uh, attract trophy work from uh, bottle companies. So that's the plan, that's the idea. And uh, this is pretty quick and dirty, and I didn't get it all cleaned up. But anyway, uh, this gives you some idea of what can be done. Now I'm gonna go work on another one here and, and see if we can get another one finished real quick. Alrighty, I've got this bottle marked off. We're going to do a different strategy with this and another. I'm going to grind this off. We're going to do two of them alike and we're going to glue them together. So let's get started. Starting on the second one, I ground off less than I intended on the first one and uh, I want to see if I can get away with that. So let's just get started. Okay, here we are gluing the bottles together. I just stuck them together. They kind of tacked and now we're letting uh, the light cure the glue to make sure that they are well and truly stuck together. So, okay, so now I've got to 
kind of figure out what angle I want these to set at. Okay, well, I uh, painted one of my little bases blue last night and uh, cleaned the paint up on it just now. And I'm currently gluing uh, our joined bottles to its base. So the UV light is curing the glue up. It should be rock solid in a minute or so. And then we'll take a closer look at the results and see what we think. Okay, well, here we are, all glued up. Two bottles merged together and then leaning as in rocking back. Okay, now we're going to cut this bottle up a little bit. We've got a few of them here. And we're going to make a couple of cuts. Uh, of these beer bottles so I'm gonna put on my headphones and here we go see that was a pretty nice cut now usually almost every time when you make a cut a piece is going to come off of one side or the other and you hope it's the, it's the side that you're not going to use and it worked out that way in other words we've got a little high spot here see if i can turn it where you can see it got a little high spot here so when i go to grind this I'm going to take that down first and then treat the whole surface uniformly. Now, because that came off, that's sticking up, that means it's missing here. And so, I don't really see where it's missing, but yeah. But anyway, there, there, there's so much nuance to cutting glass with a saw like this. Typically, where the blade exits, a piece drops off of one side or the other. And uh, also, you'll notice that this is at a slant, a tilt, a slight. It's not straight up and down. That's on purpose. So I've got my little jig here, uh, put it clamped down at an angle so that when I make these cuts, because I want all these bottles to be leaning just a little bit. And you'll see that as we start gluing it up. 
So anyway, uh, I've got all of my pieces cut right now. So we're going to go to the lap wheel and grind them down and make them smooth and uniform so we can glue them to the back. Alrighty, I've got this set up here to uh, cut this circle. Now we were able to cut those beer bottles and when they broke, we broke them evenly on one side, every time on one side. As it turns out, it was breaking on the side we wanted it to break on so I could utilize the other half. This, we're not going to have that kind of luck with. I'm going to have to cut this all the way around a couple of passes because it just, it'll break. It, it, it'll break in a way that I can't use it. So anyway, I've got my rollers set up here and here's my, my saw blade. So I'm going to pull this back just a little bit, set this in here. Uh, this little screw head here keeps me registered for an AB, so I'm keeping gentle pressure this way as I'm turning. Now this is real loud, so here we go. I'm going to put on the, uh, the earmuffs or whatever they're called. Okay, let's do it. Okay, now we're gonna grind this edge, make it flat and uniform. for some big chips. So far, so good. Okay, I think I can glue that up. So I'm going to start grinding on the bottom now. getting there. It's still un flat in the center, but all around out here we've got uniform flatness, so we're getting there. Okay, now we're taking it to the polishing wheel. This is the slow bit. This always seems to take the longest. Okay, this uh, beer bottle award that I'm making, uh, I need to make a base for it. And so I had a piece of scrap, three inch thick, 
that uh, uh, we're going to use and I have uh, used a saw to cut it mostly to a circle but now I've got to grind it to actually make it round and smooth and all that and so first we're just going to grind it to make it round once I've got the shape then I'm going to set up another contraption here to put a, sort of a miter or a, a steep bevel on it uh, I think that's what we're going to do either that or a flat polish but either way we're going to take it to a polish and we're going to make it round and then we'll have a base for this award so let's make some noise <laughs> We're going to change the wheel. This is the rough course wheel, which grinds real fast, but knocks off big old chips that we don't like. So now we're going to switch to a smoother wheel, and it'll go a little slower, but it'll leave us a little nicer. Okay, now we're back at it. Well, I finished polishing out the uh, base for the beer trophy. But then I did something so stupid, so amazingly idiotic that I can't believe it. I was so happy about getting close to finishing the award that I glued it all together, assembled the whole thing, and didn't record a, a second of it. I, just, I mean, I just, I just now figured it out. So anyway, uh, there it is. Uh, we're going to show some short video of all the pieces here in just a minute. But uh, forgive me for being so crazy that I could do something like that. But sometimes I get into the work and, and then I just kind of forget everything else that's going on, you know. But anyway, uh, it was a neat little piece. Not all that exotic, but, but fun. And uh, so the round base that uh, I had finished grinding i did not put a miter on it i changed my mind left it a flat polish edge with two heiresses all the way around both top and bottom and then i painted it black um and the uh little pedestal uh as you can see right here we painted that gold on the inside and uh so anyway you'll see the finished piece here in just a moment but anyway i apologize uh, for being a uh, space cadet sometimes. But, uh, you know, you breathe glass dust for 20, 30 years, and, you know, who knows what could happen. But anyway, I uh, appreciate your patience, and uh, uh, please, no, no dirty letters. And uh, so let's cut to the finished pieces. Now, remember, these trophies, these awards, they're not really finished. There's no... 
uh, logos on them. There's no text telling you what the award the award is about. Uh, there's no names of the winners on them. So they're a little blank looking, and that's what they are. They're blanks. And so uh, uh, anyway, let's take a look at them. See what you think. Well, okay, guys, I hope y'all found that interesting. Uh, here I am uh, moving and lifting the trophy just to illustrate that it is well and truly stuck together. One piece, as it were. Anyway, um, uh, I'm not sure what we're going to do next. The flying saucer is temporarily on hold while I'm waiting for some materials to come in. Uh, but uh, thank you for sticking uh, through to the end and hope to see you next time. Old man working.